Hi, I'm Shakira from the Picture Framing Shack and today I'll be going through how to attach your photo or your artwork to a ready-made frame. So the things that you will need is your ready-made frame, your picture that you will be putting in the frame. Now I've just cut a picture out of a magazine. A flathead screwdriver and some tape. Now most of you will have cello tape it's not exactly the best thing for your photos. It will cause acid burn on your photos. Uh, so but the hinging technique that I'm going to show you will reduce the amount of damage uh, done to the photograph by attaching the artwork into the frame correctly. So um, I did a bit of research online and Google is telling me that uh, Scotch Magic Tape is acid free. So it's the acid that usually burns the photos. I'm not endorsing that tape or 100% uh, agreeing with that. Uh, we use a film plast, which is the best type of pressure sensitive adhesive tape that you can get. Um, so yeah, there is, a, there is a big difference between tape. So uh, it's just something to be aware of. Um, you know, if you've got a photo that you can reprint and reproduce, it's not so much of a problem. But if it's a, you know, 80 year old photograph and it's a one off, then you might want to consider um, having it framed professionally because that's the way that you guarantee that you're going to protect the photo for a hundred years. Whereas if you pop it into a, um, a ready-made frame with some MDF on the back of it, um, it will destroy the photo. So I will go through that a little bit more as well. So the ready-made frame, a couple of things to look out for, or the main thing to look out for is the backing that's used. So we have some ready-made frames in the shop and we've used a acid-free foam core backing. Now the acid-free foam core is obviously acid-free and won't cause a burn to your photograph. So will help stop the discoloration of the photo. So a lot of the ready-made frames that you will get in big department stores and things like that have an MDF backing. So it's this cheap timber backing and that's got nasty chemicals in it. And uh, when your photograph is in contact with this MDF backing, it will cause an acid burn and cause your photo to change color over time. So this is not a good product to use. So um, check out framers, custom framers, um, that use the foam pour backing on their ready-made frames. Okay, so now we've got our ready-made frame uh, that we're going to put our photo in. Now pop a towel down because the frames are fragile and can scratch quite easily. So pop a clean towel down. Now the flathead screwdriver lifts up these flexi points. Now you can use a butter knife uh, if you don't have a flathead screwdriver, but don't use your fingers because it will drive right up into your fingernail. So we take the phone call backing out, the little, little piece of paper that's always in these ready-made frames, and the mat board as well. So we can just pop that to the side and we will prepare the photo. So we want to turn our photo upside down and we need four pieces of the tape. So I'll start with two. Okay, so we attach our first hinge with the tape to the back of the photograph. So as I've done there. So there only needs to be about 10 mils of the tape actually touching the back of the photograph. So we want to decrease the amount of tape in contact with the photo or artwork so that we can reduce that acid burn. So then we turn our photo back over so the sticky side is now facing up. This is when you now position the mat board. So pressure is required to make this stick. So then we can turn it back over and we're going to apply the second of the two hinges. So these bits can be a little bit longer than the first ones. So these tapes, these next two hinges, do not come in contact with the photo. They are purely to lock this 
hinge in place to give a bit more security that it's not going to fall off. And so we just pop it across the top and there we have the hinged photo. So that is actually all of the hinge that we need. So this is round about an eight by 10 size photo. So it's just hanging in there. Um, if it's something longer, you may want to have three hinges, uh, but it really doesn't need that many. Um, the more tape that you put around an artwork, the more likely it is to ripple uh, paper, even photo paper, needs to expand and contract. So by doing the hinge as I've shown there, uh, allows the paper to do so and actually helps the photo sit nice and flat in the frame. So then let's pretend I've cleaned the glass. We pop our foam core back in and use our screwdriver to put down all of the flexi points. So I'll just do a few. And there is our photo, all ready. So ready-made frames are a great economical way to display your photos uh, for a short period of time. If you do have a photograph or an artwork that does need protecting, um, it is best to have it custom framed by a professional framer. Uh, that way we can offer you conservation mat boards and UV options when it comes to the glazing. So these are a great do-it-yourself um, frame. Definitely look out for the foam core backing as opposed to the very nasty timber MDF backing and happy framing.